All right, everybody, what is up? It is your boy, the Juiciest Box, back again with Mom's Basement Streams to bring you some hot and, I don't know, saucy? Let's go with the word saucy today. Some hot and saucy standard action. What am I playing today? Today, I am going to be playing Golgari Adventure. Pretty much one of the top three decks, I think, right now in the meta. I don't want to play Oko right now, so we're not playing an Oko deck. That's what I told myself today. We're not going to be making any Elks this week. Maybe next week. Definitely not this week. Uh, anyway, if you missed me last week, I actually did have Brenda cover my stream last week. Thanks to her so much. Making sure we can keep the content alive on this channel once a day at least. And then, I actually don't have a Commander Deck Tech video today, but next week we are going to have a very special Commander Deck Tech involving right here. That's right. Everybody got it. I got it. The Ponies the Galloping set that just came out the other week. So, uh, oh, actually, that was a terrible camera shot. Let me hold this back up so you can get a better look-see at this packaging, because honestly, this packaging is immaculate. Look at this. Who... I tried to, to, like, explain to somebody, I think packaging majors are a thing, like people who create packages and, like, do the designs for them. I think that's a thing. I heard that was a thing. I think I know someone who said they did that in college. So kudos to whoever designed that package because it's really cool. But, yeah, so we're going to be doing the Ponies the Galloping deck next week. It's actually a Esper Horse Tribal deck with Princess Twilight Sparkle as the commander. We'll get there when we get there. Let's not worry about that this week. This week, what we have to worry about, though, is our deck that we have right here in front of us, our Golgari Adventure. So, let's break this deck down really quick. A powerhouse of the deck down here is going to be our Edgewall Innkeeper. This 1-1 one, one smiling man with two... I, what is that in his hand? Is that, like, mead or gold in those? Whatever. He has some kind of, like, mug with things in it. Anyway, one mana, one one. Whenever you cast a creature with adventure, you get a draw card. That's definitely a thing, Tony. It's definitely a thing. Welcome. Uh, so this deck, pretty much, we're going to be basing ourselves off of this Edgewall Innkeeper, and we are going to be exploring... Or not exploring. <laughs> exploring. Exploring is out of standard. I am tired. Oh my god. I need to stop doing these things right after I wake up. I think I still need a cup of coffee, but we're going to power through this together, y'all. <laughs> um... Every time we cast a creature that has adventure, we're going to be drawing cards off this. So for that, we have a playset of Falmir Knights, a playset of Murderous Riders, a Lovestruck Beasts, and two Order of Midnights. All super cool cards. If you've been following Standard, you should know what most of these do, just in case you don't. Falmir Knight, three mana, you can draw a card, lose a life. Otherwise, it's a 1-1 one, one Death Toucher for one. Order of Midnight, you can pay two to return a creature from your grave to your hand. Or you pay two and it's just a 2-2 two -two with flying that cannot block. Murderous Rider, murder on a stick that drains you too, but it's a 2-3 lifelinker that when it dies, you put it on the bottom of your deck. And then we have Lovestruck Beast. For one green mana, you make a 1-1 one, one human, and then otherwise, he is a 5-5 five, five for 3 that cannot attack unless you control 1-1. One, one. So what else are we playing with in this deck, you might ask? I am so glad you asked. We have some Paradise Druids for some ramp, some Legion's End for removal, a single copy of Once Upon a Time, because this list ran just one and I thought it was saucy, so there it is right there. Three Rankles, Master of Pranks, some hasty 3-3 three, three flying action, makes everybody sack some creatures, lose a life and draw a card, or discard a card. And then some Questing Beast, because this card is the bomb.com. A 4-4 four, four for 4 with Vigilance, Death Touch, Haste, that can't be blocked by power, creatures of power 2 or less, that deals damage, or that when it deals damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to each Planeswalker they control. Oh my god, it's such a mouthful, we have to play at least three of these guys. And then over here we have a single copy of Massacre Girl. I actually took this out in our list. I think I didn't update it yet. In our stream decker, we have a single copy of... What What? What did I replace with it? Do, do, do. Yeah, we had a great henge. I like Massacre Girl better. I think it was a little better because we need that board removal sometimes. I was running into a lot of janky decks that were running a lot of uh, like low-to-the-ground creature plans. So overall, I think that's definitely going to be our better bet there. And then for some Planeswalker action, we're going to have two Vivian Arcbro Rangers, put some counters, make some things fight, grab a creature out of our sideboard. Hooray, who doesn't love her? And then two Nissa, who shakes the world because she is honestly one of the best Planeswalkers in standard still. We're not talking about Oko. I don't want to talk about Oko today. We will because we're going to have to face like so many Oko decks. But until we get there, we're just going to worry about her. 
But without further ado, oh yeah, we have our single copy of Fine Finality 2 for uh, getting things back from our graveyard, wiping the board, yada yada. You know, you, you know that card. If you're watching a standard video, you probably know that card. But without further ado, we are going to hop in right here to a standard event I have already queued up for RE, so you don't have to watch me fumble through Arena's clunky interface. And we're going to hop right into our first match. Woo! And then, if you're watching live right now, happy Saturday. Hooray, it's the weekend. We're gonna, I'm a weekend warrior here every week. If not, if you're watching this later on, hi on YouTube. Make sure you hit that follow, like, subscribe, exclamation point. I don't know what else there is. But let's look at our hand real quick. So we have an Order of Midnight, uh, Edge Keeper, Two Lands, Murderous Rider, Rankle, and a Questing Beast. Honestly... Uh, Innkeeper into Midnight, if we don't draw anything good, is going to be pretty great for us. So I'm going to call that as good as we probably need it. All right. And our opponent... I'm not even going to try to pronounce their name because I'll butcher it. But we are going to start off our first turn here with Forest Innkeeper Go. Opponent leading off with a Castle Ardenvale. See, I have to, like read cards now because I always like want to... Slightly dyslexic. Always mix the letters around. Okay, so you meet our innkeeper with an innkeeper opponent. I see you. Ooh, a giant killer. Okay, so looks like they're playing the Selesnia version of our deck. Um, let's just cast this Order of Midnight to get a draw. Get some uh, creature presence on the board. And we'll just pass back. This giant killer is going to suck. Tapping down our creatures all the time. We do have a Murderous Rider, and I'm sure they're probably going to play something scarier in a turn or two. So they're just going to straight up cast a Lovestruck Beast. Which will... I mean, we're just going to Murderous Rider that next turn, then. Yeah. Come in here with a Murderous Rider. Kill the Beast. Hit our opponent for two in the air. Pass back. We can't block with the Order of Midnight, so we might as well swing with it every turn. If we can, there's no point in holding it back. Now Star Punch just not reading our card, in which case it's a very real perceived threat. Maybe? Maybe? Can I get a maybe? Um. Alright. So we got a Fairy Guide Mother. Yeah, that's fine. Our opponent's only on one white source still, so we're looking pretty fine here. We see a venerated Loxodon from our opponent, though. Um, I think we should go grab a forest here, make a human, cast our love struck beast so we have something big to start blocking with. Ooh, find another innkeeper. That's going to be useful next turn. And then hit our opponent for two. Pass back. Opponent's at 16. We are at 18. Um. So I wonder if our best play next turn... Questing Beast and Rankle are good for getting hits in on empty board states. But right now, I don't see them doing a ton of good. Uh. I might offer up a trade next turn from uh, their Guide Mother for our Order of Midnight. Ooh, they find another Venerated Loxodon. That's not pretty for us. They can essentially cast that for free right now. If they play another creature, it definitely is free. No, they're not going to. They're just going to cast it straight up. Put counter on their board. Alright, passing back to us. Let's do Fabled Passage. Crack it. Find a forest. Play. Innkeeper. Play a Lovestruck Beast. Just straight up. Draw two. We find a Legion's End, which we can cast next turn, but we're going to cast Falmire Knight right now, too. Death Touch does get around most of their big creatures. Yeah, we're kind of going off here. Uh, this is probably going to be in the bag for us within the next few turns, but let's just punch him down to 14 with the Order of Midnight. 
Awesome. Uh, so next turn, we're probably looking at you. Uh, what are we going to do next turn? That is a great question. I feel like if they play anything that justifies us casting Legion's End, we can do so. They're just going to play a Great Henge, though. Yeah, so we're definitely going to be getting rid of these Innkeepers then. I don't think they have a one-drop adventure. Maybe? Are there any green one-drop adventures in Standard right now? I don't think so. Yes, yeah, so they're just going to pass, empty their pool. Um, They can hit us for three with the Guide Mother here, but that's like their only decent play. So we're definitely going to start it off here. Yeah, let's just Legion's End your Innkeepers. Alright, let's see, they have a Tribunal, another Giant Killer, Shepherd of the Flock, and a Tristani. Gross. We actually found all of our Innkeepers. Uh, let's play one more. Find a bunch of lands. That's what we wanted. Play that. And pass. We're kind of at board stalemate here. There's not a lot of good attacks for us. Right now I'm just trying to find a Vivian so we can start putting counters and giving things trample or making our things just nuke their things. That would be good. Okay, so we see Tristani come down from them. Hopefully we find another Murderous Rider soon. You might try to Tribunal us here? No. Okay, Flaxton Trigger is actually a one drop for green. So they could have had one of those earlier. Alright, opponent. What you doing? Stop taking so long. Come on. Come on. There's just nothing really good for them to tribunal from our board right now. But okay. I mean, just take a love struck beast? Sure. I'm so confused. Do I hear people talking? Oh, I think there's people out next door. That makes sense. Uh, we're going to Swift end the Tristani right here. Bring your board back down in its power level just a teeny bit. And then let's put a Questing Beast out there. There's still not like a ton of great attacks right now. Oh, they end up taking an Innkeeper? That's a choice. We're going to see... Alright, making a 1-1. One -one. Probably casting that Love Struck Beast. Yep. Put a counter on it. I mean, their board state, they have a pretty decent board state right now, but nothing's like popping, you know? Nothing's like entirely popping. Alright. So we're gonna get another Love Struck Beast on the board from our opponent. Um. Do we just massacre a girl here? I feel like that's bad. I feel like we shouldn't do that. I feel like our best play right now might just be to cast another murderous rider. Try to find Vivian and start getting through. If I find like uh, our copy of Find Finality though, I'll probably cast that massacre girl. Let's cast this Falmire. Draw two more. One, two. Oh my god, land central over here. Alright, well I want to hold on to this extra innkeeper right now. If we don't have anything we have to do with it, I don't want to be just throwing it out there. Uh, but we're still in a stalemate, so we're just going to pass right back. If they dump their hand on the board, that might just be good enough to make me want to massacre girl. Maybe that just was an arguable play for last turn. Alright, so we see a Harpooner. They're just going to kill our Order of Midnight, probably, to start hitting in with their Guide Mother. Yep. 
Yep. There are four cards in hand. Planes. Alright. So they're going to destroy our questing beast here. Onto our next turn. I think we're just going to pop this Massacre Girl. I think Massacre Girl Rankle start attacking is probably good. Make them like, discard their hand. Alright, so they're thinking what they want to do. But yeah, so I think we're just going to do that. Uh, hit ourselves uh, with the shock for this Overgrown Tomb. Cast Rankle. Uh, and then choose the discard mode. Shepherd of the Flock to return the Flax and Intruder. Yep, that's okay. And we're going to get a ton of Mass Care Girl triggers. Alright, we're up to 16. And then they're all going to go away. Yep, 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 yep. Murderous Rider goes to the bottom of our library. We're going to go Overgrown Tomb, Rankle, hit our opponent. Each player discards, discard a Temple of Malady. So the fact that we still have one Innkeeper in hand puts us in a pretty decent situation here. So what we're probably going to end up doing is Innkeeper into Lovestruck Beast into Murder Rider if we can. That's a bunch of bears. Find another Legion's End would be good. Just get rid of all of them. Shepherd of the Flock comes down. They get a draw card. Yep. I... Uh, my prayers go answered as we find our only other copy of Legion's End. Play the Innkeeper. Play Lovestruck Beast. Find another Rankle, which we'll just hold on to. Play Murderous Rider. Draw another card. Find our one copy of Once Upon a Time. Uh, we'll let our opponent block Massacre Girl if they want. They have to double block and we'll just kill the Shepherd. Actually, no, we'll kill the Flaxen, I think. Oh no, we will kill the Shepherd. See what our opponent's going to discard here. Probably their land. Yep. That's alright. We have Rankle Once Upon a Time in hand. We're kind of like winning the game back here. They uh, actually draw Once Upon a Time 2. They're going to find a Harpooner to take down Rankle. We have another Rankle though, so we don't care. Yep. This is like a really grindy, interesting match. Maybe we should have put in the Great Henge. No, but having Massacre Girl kind of saved us there in our main board, so... I think overall that's better. <laughs> what you doing, opponent? Alright, so we're going to cast Once Upon a Time here. Don't know why I tapped a black mana for that. Kind of pissed about that, but 
That's just because they have a crappy UI. Uh, Order of Midnight actually seems good here. Let's grab back... Innkeeper. Oh, let's play Rankle. I want to attack and see if I can find... Actually, let's just attack with Rankle. And then we'll go Sacrifice Creature, discard. Now it's on to our opponent's turn here. So they can't attack with Lovestruck Beast right now until they get another 1-1 down. Whereas our Lovestruck Beast is safe currently. Alright, they're going to play another Guide Mother. That's whatever. Cannot kill Rankle currently. Yep. They're going to pass. Oh, let's fire Order of Midnight. Draw two. There is a Nyssa. That's what we needed. Now all of our mana is doubled, essentially. Uh, and we're going to swing in here with Rankle. See if we can get another hit. Yeah, they're going to end up blocking it. That's actually probably the best for us. This is such a grindy match. Alright, opponent, what you gonna do? They're processing something on our end step. Oh, March of the Multitudes? For nine. Honestly does not end the game, weirdly enough. Oh, you know what? That totally does, though. That definitely ends the game. That's hilarious. Hmm. So they still deal 15 to us and kill us. One more creature and we would have been able to survive that. But that's alright. Oh wait, no, we live! We live! We're at one! Thank you, Murderous Rider. Oh my god, they're at 46 life. We're playing Nissa Who Shakes the World, number two. Loses with five creatures, and we're still super dead, so that's just gonna be game. I could have done the math here before then and scooped, but I don't like processing or thinking on the weekends. Who does? Come on. 
Come on, don't blame me. Ugh. All right. Woo. Game one loss. That's all right. Let's hop into the next one. That was super interesting, though. We have a nice baked into a pie in the background, too. Gotta love that. Pie actually sounds like it would slap right now. All right, maybe in five years we'll find our next match. No, yes, no, yes. It's been a full, almost minute of searching. Come on, find us someone to play with. Try and tell me that on a Saturday afternoon no one is playing Arena. Oh, we got a draw. Nice. All right. It's probably just the opponent it matches up with, like, exit out of their game or something. All right, now we're ready. All right, we're going to keep this hand. Got dual innkeeper with a murderous rider. We're a black source away from getting there. Almost anything we're going to draw is going to be live. Temple of Malady. Fabled Passage to the bottom. We don't need that right now. Innkeeper. Attack. Pass back. We're all set up for Murderous Rider next turn. Our opponent's thinking here, some kind of Demir deck? Maybe? Hmm. What a waste of a proliferate. I think we're just going to cast Murderous Rider here. Get two draws. Find a rankle. Ooh. I like. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. This is nice. We have Massacre Girl, Rankle, and Vivian. I think next one we're gonna cast Vivian. If our opponent permits it. Okay. They have an Ashiok. Are they playing like some kind of mill deck? some counters on some things. Uh, let's just get rid of this Ashiok because it's annoying. And then two to their face. Oh, looks like we're doing fine to me. They're going to play a Mystic Sanctuary tapped. They have three mana open. Alright. We have a 2-2 Murderous Rider now. My feelings are hurt. You probably just should have played the Overgrown Tomb Tap there. Just a little tiny misplay, but nothing terrible. Distribute some counters. And then swing in with a team. Opponents at six. Uh, we'll make each player discard a card. Just discard this forest. Knive Concoct discarded by our opponent. Ooh. Gonna play Leapfrog.
unsummon our Rankle, which does nothing. Swing with the team, and that should be game. All right, that was game. Hooray. That was really quick compared to the last game. That last game, I think, literally took 25 minutes for just one round. Claim some prizes. Boom, bankrupt in blood. Keep going. Let's keep going. Keep the gravy train chugging along. Turn into a frog right here. Look at that boy. That is one thick frog. Alright, we are ready hopping into the next one. I'm ready. Are you ready? Against Carlos with a K and two A's. And this hand looks fine to me. Let's start with a Falmir. Pass to our opponent. Some 1-1 one, one death touch action going on. Stomping ground from our opponent. Uh... Let's make a 1-1 one, one human, and then attack. We have Murderous Rider and Love Struck Beast for next turn, potentially. Paradise Druid is going to definitely make me want to cast this Love Struck Beast. And swing for two, because they're not going to block. And if they do, that's a trade I'm okay with. The next turn, hoping for land to be able to cast this questing beast and hit in for a ton. They have a questing beast of their own, so I think just regardless here, we might just go murderous rider. Uh, no blocks, we'll take the four. Because ultimately, our opponent's going to be worse off here than we will. So yeah, let's just murderous rider. Take out the beast. Play our overgrown tomb. And then swing in for seven. Opponent's already at eight. Uh, next turn with the Questing Beast definitely coming down. I don't know what our opponent can do here to, like, buffer or save themselves. This is looking like pretty much GG's. Alright, Spellbreaker's fine. It doesn't, like, get them out of this, though. Alright. Ambush the Beast. Yep. Uh... Well, swing in for five. Both have death touch. We do have order of midnight on backup to get back one of our creatures. We have this legion's end in hand too, which could prove to be useful. Another Spellbreaker coming down from our opponent. There are two cards left in hand. I mean, our Falmir Knight still prevents that from being, like, a good play. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, let's grab back Lovestruck. Play good old Lovestruck Beast. There we go. You're gonna bone crush giant or knight. How rude. No attacks. Pass back. Opponents at seven. We're at twelve. I wish this game would stop janking out on me. There we go. Opponents back up at eight. Playing a ravager worm. We have to take four here. I 
All right, I was just getting stuck freezing so much right now. There we go. This order of midnight pass back. Well, this isn't looking too great. I'd be willing to sacrifice this forest to kill their spellbreaker this turn. Ugh. God, why am I stretching so much today? Alright, they're both swinging at my face. Yeah, we will just double block the spellbreaker. Come on, game. You can do it. There we go. Let's double block that. Crap. Crap. Crack open my LaCroix. Sponsor me. And then see a Bone Crusher Giant come down. Animate this forest. Play this murderous rider. Stall, stall, stall. We don't have a ton to do here. Pass back. Now this isn't... We, like, had such a great start. Now we're not looking too great anymore. I guess we should have swung with Order of Midnight. That was a misplay, too. Yikes. Killed our Bone Crusher. We're, like, slowly whittling away our lands here. That doesn't feel too good. Animate this forest. Play this innkeeper. Two combat. See, our opponent would be at four right now if I had attacked last turn. Not like an idiot, but we on some big stupid energy today. All right, we see a Domri. Not the end of the world. Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Hmm. Can you make the worm fight the forest? Going to combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to plus this here or we die. <laughs> what is going on right now? See, our opponent would be dead next turn to us if we had actually uh, followed through with attacking like we should be. Alright, yep, and this ain't, uh, goblin is just enough to kill us. Man, that sucks. If we just literally had to draw another creature there, we would have been able to probably truck through it. Well, that was a really close one. So even if we hadn't attacked with that Order of Midnight that turn, we still wouldn't have been able to win here. That's okay. Alright, let's hop right back into the next one. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday so far. It's cold 
and hailing slash snowing here, so I don't want to go anywhere or do anything today. So this is going to be a great day to do some streaming, some magic action. Uh, this hand is complete duty, so we're going to be mulliganing this away. This hand is a lot better. Um, we'll put a Foulmire on the bottom. Is our opponent going first? Jorge Castillo. We have a Pelt Collector coming down. Let's start with a Temple. Ooh, Innkeeper on top. <clears throat> now we can Innkeeper Falmire next turn. Take two damage, that's alright. Play our Innkeeper. Play our 1 1 Death Toucher. Draw a card. Maybe? Arena's acting real funky today. They're gonna shock our knight, that's alright. Play a Harpooner. No blocks. We're down to 12. That Swamp's actually great. Saves us a damage this turn. Order of Midnight. Return the Foulmire. Play the Foulmire. Draw a card. Find a Rankle. Pass the turn. We're just trying to get to Massacre Girl here, and then we'll probably be alright. Spellbreaker. Yeah, we need to find that quick. Or not find that, but uh, cast it quick. We already have it. Yep, we'll take six down to six. Oh, that had trample? Oh, yep. It does. Read your cards. Read your cards, everybody. Um, can I please play that land? Can I please play that land? There we go. Questing Beast. Uh... Yeah, I think we're just dead. Oh man. I think we're just dead. Oh, Questing Beast, come on. That's not even fair. Uh. Block, block, take seven, die. And we are defeated. I'm not really happy with that uh, turn of events, so I think we're just going to run that back again. Let's hop right back in it. We're against Crippled, who has a Fibble Thip. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. Legion's End into Questing Beast eventually. <laughs> Some Falmires to hold down the floor. I think our opponent might look really like Fibble Thip. That's just a theory. Those are funny sleeves. Um. Well. Come on, opponent. You gonna keep? There we go. We'll play Falmire. Pass the turn.
our opponent. An island pass. Oh, crap. Why did it... What? What? That is not what I played, but all right, then. I meant to drag out that forest, but whatever you say, Arena. Whatever you say. I was going to Paradise Druid this turn so we could have a turn... Potentially three questing beast, but now we can't. Man, it pissed me off. All right, let's cast this Paradise Druid. Hit for two. Pass the turn. Island from our opponent into a oh, pyromancer. Well, attack for six. Opponent is at 11. If only these had a CMC of two, then our Legion's end would be a lot better right now. Mountain. They have six cards in hand. Alright, War Boss. I will eat your token. Yeah, it's still Murderous Rider. Play this Order of Midnight. And then swinging for six again. Alright, so they have to deal with our like entire board this turn, pretty much. Ah, uh, turn to sleep our questing beast. Sadly, that doesn't do it, opponent. Yep, they give up. Sweet. Quick game one. Adventuring for the win. Let's hop right back in. Alright, we're instantly ready. I love this. This is going a lot better already than the uh, last one we did. Uh, this hand is actually way too slow, so we have to mold this away. <laughs> this hand is a lot better. Uh, we're going to put... Yeah, we'll just put a Love Struck on the bottom. Innkeeper, turn one. Pass back. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. If I can take the Nyssa, or the Rider. Yeah, it takes the Nyssa. Um. We'll just Paradise Druid, actually, this turn. Hit with the Innkeeper. That gives us a little bit of advantage. Not really a ton. Now it's a disadvantage. <laughs> For sure. Alright, let's play this Temple Swamp to the bottom. Come on. Make a 1-1 human. Pass back. Castle of Antris and a Duran from Dreams. Well, this isn't looking too great for us. Um, come on, game. Please work with me. Love struck beast. And attack with the human. Opponent's down to 18. They have four mana. Probably soon to be five. Ah. Oh, 
playing Grixis Fires, of course. We're just Rider our Beast, yep. Hit our opponent for one. Pass the turn. They're gonna draw from Dreams again. Cast a Liliana. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. We're gonna kill you, Liliana. Yep, you have to let that resolve, opponent. Can't do anything about it. And then we will grab a swamp. This looks like a fun new toy. They have a zombie. It's our turn. We'll play this fabled passage. Play beast. Let's crack this Fabled Passage right now to find a forest. And we'll pass back after that. I'm going to scry too. Two on top. Not great to see. I find another Liliana. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. Huh? That sequencing was way wrong, opponent, but alright. We're just gonna rank all the way your Liliana, though, so... Wish that was a questing beast, because then we could do damage to them and get rid of their Liliana, but oh well. I'm exhausted. That's two lilies down. <laughs> How many more are we going to have to kill? Killing our rankle. Not cool. I'm going to play Narset, find a Bolas, wonder what's coming down next turn. Yeah, I think they just have us on this one. Bolas plus two with Chandra's ability puts us on a two turn clock. There's no like single once they have like three powerful walkers in play, there's like not one single card that saves us, I don't think. This hand's too slow. Uh this hand's still pretty slow, but it's better. Bring up a big Nissa. Big Nissa? That's a Vivian, not a Nissa. Come on, get together, Juice. Uh, yeah, big Nissa on the bottom. I still call it a big Nissa. I don't care. Swamp on top. I 
Once upon a time from our opponent. Find a spell breaker. Let's crack this fabled passage, get a forest. Make a 1 1. Next turn we get a 5 5. See the good old reliable Paradise Druid from our opponent. Uh, let's see if they'll trade it for a 1 1. Massacre Girl and Fine Finality are in our hands. We have a lot of removal, so we should be okay here. Once upon a time, again. Cup Collector. Attack with both these guys. Opponent's down to 13. And the turn. What's our opponent got? We know they have the spell or er, spellbreaker and the questing beast. Okay, a war boss, and a harpooner. We'll take four. Oh my god, we are so like dry on lands here. We need at least two more. We're just going to hold back these beasts to block with. Alright, we see a questing beast. Thought Collector is now a 4-4, four -four, which means that it's Trample. We'll block the Collector, block the beast, take one. Gonna shock our other beast. Okay. Oh no, we need to land on top. So Paradise Druid, you're not good enough this turn. Kill the war boss. No attacks. See another questing beast. Oh my god, you're kidding. You're kidding! Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. We are just dead now. We are so dead. That was so close too. One more turn we could have survived. We just didn't draw land in time. Oh yeah, that's that's so done. Ugh. Frowned down on that match. That's weird. Why is he asking me how my match was?
All right, we have two innkeepers, love struck beast, and three lands plus a Vivian. This hand is terrific. Any land gets us Vivian with no needed fixing. Opponent mold once. Paradise Druid. Let's play an Innkeeper. Opponent's gonna opt. Alright, they're gonna return our Innkeeper to our hand. Um. Let's go Innkeeper, Innkeeper. Next turn, cast Lovestruck Beast, draw two. I'll take one. They're going to counter the beast, but we still do get to draw two off of it. We can swing for two here. We might just go for a Vivian next turn. They probably have a counter. Yep, negate. Okay. I want to save this other Vivian for when they're tapped out, then. They're going to opt. Swing for two. Opponent's down to 14. No one condition in sight, just a 1 1 zombie army. That they're going on the aggro with, even though they're losing the race. So bad. Uh, we'll leave Once Upon a Time on top. Play a Paradise Druid. Swing for two. Alright, they'll play a Brineborn. Probably pump it and block. Opt. Yep. That's fine. We lose one of our innkeepers. Opponent's down to 13. We have a fox from our opponent. Look at that. We have our fire cat. Once upon a time, what do we find in here? Ooh, Falmire. Let's try to murder this cutthroat first. They're gonna quench it. Uh, I'll pay two. No attacks, pass back. Next turn we can go Rider Falmire, and then we're probably going to be looking okay. Our opponent's managing to keep like three can cards in hand every turn. Uh, they're going to outburst our Paradise Druid, which is okay. Ooh, actually. Draw land. Yes. Okay. We're going to play Arc Bow. 
Murderous Rider. Draw a card. Alright, yeah, this is so over now. Counter, counter. Submit. I have the innkeeper attack for two. And our opponent gives up. That did not start well for them. All right, we're up two, down two. Let's see how we continue to do. That button was terrible. You can crucify for me, or crucify me for that later in the comments. Ugh. Ooh, innkeeper into paradise druid. Sign me up, Poppy. Blood crypt into cauldron familiar for our opponent. Let's play an innkeeper pass. See if it makes it to our turn. No blocks. Paradise Druid. Pass. Alright, Mayhem Devil. Draw one. Play this knight. Draw another. Pass back. Now we're actually looking okay here. I think this sets us up well to win. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? You don't worry. I brought company. Ah, I see you. They're going to nuke our board. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Let's go into Kill Chandra. Make them block with the familiar. Deal two to Chandra. Pass back. Our Vivian's wide open. That actually kind of was a bad play. Don't worry. I brought company. Yeah, they can just kill Vivian right now if they want. Yep, they're going to attack us with the board. I'm gonna love holding this we take two. A Paradise Druid does. Alright. Our opponent for 10. Kill Chandra in the process. Training is so hard. Pass back. Act of Treason, our questing beast. Yeah, we'll take seven. Yep, opponent lost. Hooray. That is win number three for us today. Ugh. Let's keep going.
Ooh, this hand is great. We're keeping this all day. We are on the draw, though, but still on the draw. This is pretty much as good as it's going to get. We're seeing an unethical clown. Take one here. I wonder what our opponent's playing. This looks janky as hell. Oh, elementals, okay. Play this temple, land at the bottom, play a big boy, draw a card, draw a land anyway. Pass back. We have Murderous Rider and Legion's End for weird things. What's this little Chandra? Interesting. Pass the turn. Leaf can druid. What else you got for us, opponent? Come on. Don't be shy. Nothing. Well, let's just take a peek, see in your hand, get rid of some ramped. Two Neoforms. Okay. Pass back. Uniform for a two drop. Okay, get another Leafkin. See if they want to block. Oh, they discard their other Neo form. I wonder where else their other card in hand is. It's now or never. Unless they have three Neo forms. They did have three Neo forms. Well, what are you grabbing? We're just gonna kill that Risen Reef immediately on sight. Shocker Paradise Druid. All right. End the turn. We have two Murderous Riders in play and a Rankle. We're looking okay. Arboreal Grazer. Nature is beautiful. 
My, my. How you've grown. Swinging for nine. Opponent can block one of our murderous riders and just take six. This Vivian's going to be rough to get over, though. Uh, yeah, let's draw. Playing innkeeper. Pass back. We're up to 17. Opponent finds a land. This has to be a creature, you just lose. Alright, Chandra. You need more control. Just let me burn. Shocker innkeeper. There we go. Another win, so let's keep it going. I've been playing with, I have this like huge pile here of Pegasus tokens that also have humans on the back. But I'm only using them for the human, or for the Pegasus side, for that deck I was talking about earlier, our, uh, the My Little Pony deck that I'll be building later. Alright, we're gonna lead off with the temple here. We're keeping this hand, it's pretty decent, pretty grindy. Has, like, really good fixing. Uh, Massacre Girl, we already have enough removal, you can go to the bottom. We prefer to find like an innkeeper right now if we could. We don't, so let's play this Overgrown Tomb tap and put a Foulmire in to play. We're against Tenacious Shaman. What's well, up, Tenacious Shaman? Once upon a time from our opponent. These Chandra sleeves are pretty sweet. I've never seen them before. Alright, cast that Paradise Druid you just found. Play this Order of Midnight, and then swing in for one. Opponent's down to 19, we'll keep passing the turn right along. That's a weird play I was not expecting. We're gonna kill that Mayhem Devil. Swing in for two, bring our opponent down to 17, pass back. Opponent's thinking. Gilded Goose. What is our opponent on? This is such a weird deck. Gilded Goose number two. Alright, I know what we're Legion's ending next turn. Golden Egg. Oh my god. Take away these Gilded Geese. Oh, we got rid of another one too! Haha! <laughs> They have a Corvold? That's disgusting. Alright, let's pass back. This is such a weird deck. Oh no, our opponent's going to be able to bring it down this turn. Now the real question is, are they actually going to play it this turn? Are they going to go with Rankle, or... Yeah, they're, they're going for it. They'll, they'll probably stack a food. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, why did I leave that on top? I'm an idiot. I just like, I like literally just zoned out. I do not know what that was. That was such a punt. Bring our opponent down to 11. Pass back. Oh my god. That's such a dead draw, too. We need like another murderous rider. Opponent's down to 9, though. If they attack with Korobol, it leaves them open for a rankle hit, too. Yeah, they're just going to play the rider. Go up to six. Attack us. Sacrifice of food. I mean, you're hitting us for a ton of damage. Did... Wait, what? Why didn't Order of Midnight attack? Oh my god, Arena. I'm so sick of your UI glitching out. This is going to grow the core mold. That's so aggravating. They can just slam down Rankle and they win. So that's game, but... Oh my gosh, Arena, why you gotta do that to me, huh? Ugh. Alright, well I think that is probably gonna wrap us up here this week. Wish Arena wouldn't load so slowly all the time, but yeah, so... That was Golgari Adventure. Thanks for tagging along with us today, everybody. Uh, once again, if the, you're watching this at a later date in the future, make sure you like, subscribe, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch and you're not uh, subscribed to us or following us right now, you should do that. We're pretty cool. If you're not following our Twitch and you're watching this later, you should also go follow that. Hooray, it's for everybody. Other than that, we're still going to be bringing you some hot, saucy content every week here. I know pretty soon we have our Pioneer Week coming up where we're all going to be pl playing Pioneer decks. Even me. I'm scared. I'll get through it, though. It's all right, everybody. We'll, we'll do it together. But past that, I hope you guys have a great one. And catch us next time when we bring you some more hot and saucy Magic the Gathering action.